morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Finds TV. I'm Jason Peña. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, September 28, 2023. Now let's see what Harasa has to say about Hispanic heritage. Thank you, Jaceline. Get that, Patriots. Today we'll be talking about the Coqui. The Coqui was found by Jose Felix in 1875. The Coqui is also a Puerto Rican frog that lives in their national forests. They are one of Puerto Rico's biggest frogs found. Did you know the coqui got its name by the sound it makes? The unique nighttime calling called coqui by the male of the species. Also, did you know Mr. Santiago and two RPTV members are from Puerto Rico? What a fascinating frog. Now let's go to Giselle for today's lunch. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's lunch is cheeseburger, ham and cheese sandwich, tater tots, fresh baby carrots, and diced peaches. And tomorrow's breakfast is banana apple muffin trifle, fruit loops, string cheese, fresh apple, and 100% orange juice. Students, please keep in mind the lunch money can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. And don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Jaceline. Thank you, Giselle. For today's Hispanic Heritage Activity, your students will be taken on a virtual tour through ancient ruins. Patriots, please make sure your devices are staying in your backpacks. You don't want them to get taken away. Also, with gum chewing, please don't do it in the building. You don't want to get in trouble. Our software challenge is something all grades should participate in. And for the people who finish the challenge, we will be getting a breakfast party. You don't want to miss out on the fun incentive. If you want to join the fun, you will need to pay $5 before October 23rd. And if a student receives a referral before the 23rd, they were not allowed in. The dance is on the 27th. So if you want to go, make sure you're on your best behavior. Don't worry, middle schoolers. You're not going to be left out. We have a new activity in store for you. On October 27th, we will be looking for gold in a chicken nugget extravaganza. If you want to get in, you must no, have no referrals through the month and pay a $5 fee. Are you ready to stuff your face with some chicken nuggets? If so, be ready. I hope to see all you guys there. The Patriots, our boograms are back. If you want to take part in this, all you have to do is send some cash to your homeroom teachers and order before October 25th or while supplies last. This is a good opportunity to really scare your peers and give them a nice surprise. You don't want to miss out. Students, please let your parents know that the Goodies with Guardians is on September 29th. This event is for kinder and first grade only. Goodies with Guardians is an opportunity for you to spend some time with your parents. One guardian or a parent can join per family. The guardian and the student will create a fun snack together in the cafeteria. This sounds like a really fun event. Yesterday, our boys flag football had a game against BMA at Brian Piccolo. Now let's go to Nia to hear more about their game. Thank you, Jaceline. Welcome back to Sports Patriots. Yesterday, our boys flag football had a game against BMA. Unfortunately, we lost the game. The final score was 16-4. to And the players who best performed are player number 8, Tyler, with the most saves, and number 13, Joshua, who scored a point. Even if we lost this game, we are sure you guys would do great on the next one. We hope to see you at the next game. Thank you, Nia. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 84 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. In other weather news, people in Louisiana are growing concerns over their contaminated drinking water. The drinking water in Louisiana comes from the Mississippi River. Due to drought, salt water from the Gulf of Mexico has been flowing in the water. Salt water can make people very sick if drunk. To solve this problem, the officials are moving gallons of water to the Mississippi River and building blockades to keep out salt water. How would you feel if your sink was full of salt water? I would be pretty disgusted. Now let's go to Catherine for today's birthdays. Thank you, Eli. Today's birthday boys and girls are Gabriel Demetrius and Riley Francois. Birthday, let's go back to Jaisley. 
Thank you, Catherine. Patriots, here are your pants expectation. It represents present yourself positively, I kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Everyone here at RPTV would like to wish you all a thriving Thursday. Have a wonderful day!